Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee, thank you for joining us. Heavy, thick, black smoke and flames leaping 15 feet into the air. That's how witnesses described the fiery crash of a tanker truck that shut down the busy Sunshine Skyway Bridge. A blown tire is being blamed for the crash. The accident and the fire diverted thousands of drivers off the bridge and over to I-75 and other roads for the very long trip around Tampa yeah, Bay. Yeah, just trying to get around all mm -hmm. of this. Part of the Sunshine Skyway remains closed at this very hour. Peter Bernard is there tonight. And Peter, I was amazed to learn that this truck driver just survived this accident. It was so horrific. But I know a lot of people want to know about the impact this had on the bridge and when things are going to get back to normal. So bring us up to date. Okay, here we go. First of all, in the driver, he only has minor injuries. He went to Manatee Memorial Hospital. He's going to be okay. Let me orient you as to where we are. Behind me, you can see the iconic towers. There they are, off yellow in the distance. You drive over the Sunshine Skyway, you see them a lot. As for the bridge itself, southbound traffic is on the inside lane only, only while crews look for any permanent damage. Talk about a reason to rubberneck black smoke billowed into the air from the Mack truck carrying 4,000 gallons of diesel fuel. Flames erupted and danced into the blue sky. The FHP reports driver Ulysses Hernandez Fernandez blew a front right tire, sending him careening into the outside wall several times before stopping 800 feet down the road. St. Petersburg fire crews used foam from a St. Pete Clearwater Airport truck to help snuff the flames. The crash caused the FHP to close the Skyway completely. Drivers had to U-turn it. You got to go all the way back through Tampa. Oh, man. Th th thanks a lot. Yeah. Uh, Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. You didn't hear anything about the tanker fire? No, no. Did this yeah. happen? No, it was this morning. Around 1, the FHP opened northbound lanes, and a few hours later, traffic opened southbound, but was confined to one lane, causing a backup. That happened after a flatbed hauled the charred wreckage of the tanker off the bridge. Its tires are just strands of steel. Its own fuel tanks show signs of an explosion. The Skyway closure proved to be a real hassle for people heading south. Usually I would go Skyway and come back up north, but now I have to go across Howard Franklin deal with the traffic on the bridge. So what would you do? You have to go all the way back through Tampa. And it can be what? In here. There's no other way. FDOT crews are checking the bridge to see if the extreme heat caused roadway and barrier damage. And some drivers were left stranded on that bridge with nowhere to go for more than an hour. They made a U-turn and they headed back north. You're looking at the crews right now as they continue to examine the bridge and mainly the barrier on the side there to see if it has any permanent damage. Keith? Peter, I'm assuming things are getting better as the evening goes along and we move towards morning, but is this lane closure on the southbound side causing any backups at this hour? Yeah, it, not right now. It's going pretty good. But I did notice as traffic picked up at the afternoon rush, things did back up. So having that second lane is crucial. So if your morning commute takes you through here, you might want to keep that in mind. But it sure beats going all the way up through Tampa and down I-75. That would take you forever. you got to be patient tomorrow if you're traveling that direction. Thank you. Peter Bernard, live in Pinellas County. Yep.